celebrate a great and wonderful event of two precious young people that have decided to live the rest of their lives together. And uh, so we're here to celebrate, to honor God, to praise Him as we marry this precious couple. Who gives this lady to this young man? I'd like to begin this wonderful ceremony by looking to the Lord in prayer. Let's pray together. Our Father and our God, how we praise you and honor you this day. We realize that this is the first thing that you did, for it come to a man and a woman you married them. And that's what we're doing today to honor you and to bless you because we know that you are the center of everything. And as we come here today, we praise your holy name, giving you honor and glory for bringing these two young people together and blessing them and, and blessing us that they have been put in our lives. And we ask your blessing on this ceremony that everything that is done would be to honor and glorify you. And we'll praise your name. Amen. Caleb and Stephanie, the day has finally come. Uh, it would be like uh, with you, uh, you thought it would never, it would never get here. You've been waiting on this, uh, but it's here because of your faithfulness and your, uh, the way you have done things and conducted yourselves uh, in the church in your life, it's, it's wonderful. And we're so honored today to have this privilege of, of performing this wonderful ceremony. I charge you both, as you stand here in the presence of God, and in, in the presence of these witnesses, to remember the vital importance of God's love as the foundation of your marriage and your home. Just as the Holy Spirit spoke through the Apostle Paul in the Word of God, love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous nor boastful. It is not arrogant nor rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not uh, irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrong, but rejoices in the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love never fails. If you keep this, steadfast, a love ever before you, and reminding and remaining faithful to each other, res resolutely endeavoring to fulfill the vows you will make. God's blessing will be upon you, and the home you establish will endure through life. I just want to say, to have young people like you to set the example before so many that you've done a, a wonderful, wonderful job. And we as a church are so blessed that you've done it right and you have been faithful and 
and men pure and God will bless that and no question about it. Then I want to say to the congregation here today, those that have come here to join us uh, in this, you're a part and we're all together going to do everything we can to help this young couple be successful in their marriage and in their home, in their, in their life, in their family. Uh, Caleb and uh, Stephanie were blessed to have this occasion and uh, I guess I can say and soon you want to go forward with this. God bless. Well, that, that's, that's why we come. I'd really be upset if you said you didn't. Uh, so that, that's, that's a wonderful plan. The Apostle Paul said to Timothy, fight the good fight. Now, that doesn't mean that you all are ever going to have a fight. You may. But if you do, God's blessing can bring you together and keep you. He said, fight the good fight of faith. If you'll keep Christ in the center of everything, everything is going to work uh, very well. And this church, the, the, the Heartland Church, is with you, behind you, and we're so blessed to have you as, as part of that. Uh, I can assure you of that. All right. Caleb, will you have this woman to be your wedded wife, to live together after God's ordinance uh, in the holy estate of marriage? Do you promise to give yourself to her as Christ gave himself to the church? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in the sickness and in health? through wealth and want, forsaking all others as long as you both shall live. Stephanie, will you have this man to be your wedded husband, to live together after God's ordinance in this holy state of marriage? Will you obey him, serve him, love and honor him? in sickness and in health, through wealth and want, keeping only unto him as long as you both shall live. Caleb and Stephanie uh, want to have uh, communion to bring Christ into the center of their marriage uh, at, during this ceremony, so we're going to ask that you have communion at this time.
Caleb and Stephanie are going to change rings. So if we could have the rings at this time. Caleb, as you take this ring and place it on your bride's finger, please repeat after me. Stephanie, with this ring, I commit all my love to you. As I love the Lord, and He has filled my love with you, so I give that love to you. I receive you as God's gift. I promise that through the grace of God, I will lead our home spiritually under the leadership of Jesus Christ. I seek to support and encourage you through each of life's challenges. All that is mine is yours until death should part us. Stephanie, as you take this ring, place it on Caleb's finger. Please repeat that. Caleb, with this ring, I commit all my love to you. As I love the Lord, and He has filled my heart with love. So I give that love to you. I receive you as God's gift. I promise that through the grace of God, I will honor and follow you as the spiritual head and leader of our home. I will seek to support and encourage you through life's, eat through each of life's challenges. All that is mine is yours until death should part us. Now at this time, there has been some people that have played a very important role in these two young people's lives. And they'd like to have them to come at this time and, and pray with them. So if, if you will step out and come at, the, uh, at this time, please. If you'll just come right on up, up here, please. Father, we just come today and just break with uh, real thankful hearts. Lord, I just come and I thank you for this young man and this young lady. I thank you for their lives. Lord, where you brought them to and through. But more importantly today, I thank you that you, you're making them one. That these two, you are doing the miracle, the mystery. The thing that you have done from the very beginning, cleaving two into one. And Lord, I just pray, God, that your hand will be upon them, that your blessing would fill them, that your life would surround them, that your Holy Spirit would come and give them strength, give them the ability to just declare greatly who you are through their marriage, through their family. Lord, we just come as friends, we come as parents, we come as uh, just pastors with all the opportunity that you've given in our lives to be a part of their life. And Lord, as we lay hands upon them, Lord, we just pronounce your goodness, your greatness, and your blessing. We thank you.
thank you, Lord God. Praise you. Father, how we love you today. God, you are good, and you are merciful, and you are kind. God, you are all-knowing, and splendorous, and magnificent. And God, we adore you today. And God, we thank you, God, that even when you were weaving these two children in their mother's wombs, God, you knew their lives, God. You had the plan for them, Lord. And God, we are so grateful as friends, and as family, and as your church to get to witness this today. Two young people following after your plan, God, living for you, holy. And so right now, God, we just pray a blessing over their life. We pray, pray a blessing over their household and the children that they will have, God. God, we ask, God, that you would anoint them, Lord God, that they would serve you all, that they would grow old together, God, serving you. God, that they would leave a legacy in the earth that truly would bring change, Lord, if you tarry, God. We ask, Lord, that their lives would be lives given to build your church. God, to see your kingdom come, Lord, on earth as it is in heaven. So right now, God, just bless them. Let your favor hang over their heads, God, and marry them, Lord. Truly marry them today, God, once and forever. I just want to say marriage today in America is taken so lightly. And it's the most serious thing that anybody will ever do without, outside of their own salvation. Nothing will ever surpass this. If you today can understand that you're just about to become one. Not two, but one. You're going to be faithful. And you're going to be honorable. And you're going to protect each other. Uh, every day, you say, I'm going to do what's right to make this marriage better. It's not a 50-50. It's a 100%. We got to give everything. And then sometimes it's difficult. But before we go to the end, one more time, I want to say to you, Caleb and Stephanie, how great, grateful we are and honored to have you as part of our church and our lives how that you've been faithful and you've done this and you've done it right. You've set an example for all of the young people that's coming behind you and there will be many. We want to thank you. We give you, uh, we give you credit and give glory to God that he has kept you and, and in this. So we just thank you. Let's pray. Father, how we love you. How we thank you and how we praise you that still today you keep young people pure and holy and righteous. You, you give strength and we ask grace and strength and anointing. May there be a great anointing come upon this young couple today. God, we know you have a call on your life. We know that you have great things in mind and in, in store for them. And we ask you to keep them, guide them, direct them, give them uh, grace and power and anointing and faith. Give them faith to be what you'd have them to be. That every day they will say yes to you. They'll keep their self in the center of your will. And all glory is yours. God bless them and bless their home and bless their children. And we'll praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless. God bless you. Caleb and 
didn't stagnate by the authority given to me by the Lord Jesus Christ and by the authority invested in me as an ordained minister of the gospel I now pronounce you husband and wife and God bless you yeah. and Caleb you can kiss your wife